we continue by confessing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God and for all people according to their needs. We will use the prayer found on page 215 and 216. Friends in Christ, I urge you all to lift up your hearts to God and pray with me as Christ our Lord has taught us and freely promised to hear us. God, our Father in heaven, look with mercy on us, your needy children on earth, and grant us grace that your holy name be hallowed by us and all the world through the pure and true teaching of your word and the fervent love shown forth in our lives. Graciously turn from us all false doctrine and evil living, whereby your precious name is blasphemed and profaned. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May your kingdom come to us and expand. Bring all transgressors and those who are blinded and bound in the devil's kingdom to know Jesus Christ, your Son, by faith, that the number of Christians may be increased. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Strengthen us by your Spirit according to your will, both in life and in death, in the midst of both good and evil things, that our own wills may be crucified crucified daily, and sacrificed to your good and gracious will. Into your merciful hands, Lord, we commend those for whom we pray and these whom we pray for from Waverly, Helen Heidebrink and Bernice Hicks, Rick Hicks, Heather Johnson, Jean Schrader, Ellen Inman, John Pittman, Ryder Curry, Amy Gerst, Bev Rolf, Nancy Abuel, Megan Curry, Nancy Dankenbrink, Eli Applegate, Tim Kirksik, Bev Arnold, Leroy Stone King, David Tiemann, Mike Milligan, Michael Baker, Herman Peters, Debbie Schmidt, Thomas Fowler, Roberta Nienhout Hoyser, Jared Cooper Lord, we pray he successfully recovers from his double heart surgery. Pastor Wiesman, Pastor Copus, and Pastor Block. And Lord, we do thank you that Bernice's pacemaker seems to be working well. And we pray for those here in quarter. We especially pray for Irma, Tracy, and Joe Merrick. For Margie Munkin, Gary Munkin, Marcel Ehlers, Pete Furking, Rodney Lorenz as he recovers from the amputation of some of his toes. Lord, may he recover well. Johnny Moyer, Bob Pregman, who, Lord, we pray, continues to recover from the coronavirus and, and can gain strength and, and survive. And Judy Heimsoth, Lord, uh, help her heart to once again gain strength. Lord, we pray for our schools, and we pray for all those affected by this quarantine. Lord, we pray for all who are in need, praying for them at all times, thy will be done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant us our daily bread, preserve us from greed and selfish cares, and help us trust in you to provide for all our needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive those who sin against us so that our hearts may be at peace and may rejoice in a good conscience before you and that no sin may ever frighten or alarm us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Lead us not into temptation, O Lord, but help us by your Spirit to subdue our flesh, to turn from the world and its ways, and to overcome the devil with all his wiles. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And lastly, O Heavenly Father, deliver us from all evil of both body and soul, now and forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We trust, O Lord, in your great mercy to hear and answer us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen. We will close with hymn 465, Now All the Vault of Heaven Resounds. Now all the vault of heaven resounds in praise of love that still abounds. Christ has triumphed, he is living. Sing choirs of angels loud and clear. Repeat their song of glory here. Christ has triumphed, Christ has triumphed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Eternal is the gift he brings, therefore our hearts with rapture sings. Christ has triumphed, he is living, now still he comes to give us life, and by his presence stills all strife. Christ has triumphed, he is living. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Oh, fill us, Lord, with boundless love. Set heart and will on things above, that we conquer through your triumph. Grant grace sufficient for life's day, that by our lives we truly say, Christ has triumphed, he is living. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Adoring praises now we bring, and with the hymn be blessed sing. Christ has triumphed, Alleluia. Be to the Father and our Lord, to Spirit blessed, most holy God, all the glory never ending. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.